I'm Alan. I'm Thomas. Any confusion? Don't yeah. ask me. All right, uh, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Office 2007 in this segment. Um, what's it about? And uh, what comes Would with you it? Like it? Do you like the older ones or do you like the newer ones? And what comes with it? What's the new features in it? Okay, well, first of all, I have to say, I, I, wasn't exa I didn't like it when it first came out. I wasn't exactly a big fan of it. I thought it was very confusing. The ribbon especially threw me off. I'll, we'll explain what the ribbon is later. And uh, everything was kind of confusing with it. And then I actually, once I started using it, I, feel, I realized it's much easier than what I learned, but you had to get used to it. Yeah, um, like the, the, everything is all on the ribbon, which is up at the top. You can see a little symbol. You think it just looks like a symbol, but if you click on it, it drops down to the save, the save as, the print, yeah, the, the file pretty well, much. Well, what I found confusing was is that I couldn't find the save as section because I didn't know because I'm what couldn't find the print. We just used well, shortcuts. Yeah, we couldn't. Well, yeah, we know the shortcuts to Office, so most of them. So we would just used shortcuts, but we couldn't find where the file menu was because file there wasn't a file menu anymore. It was the ribbon. So what you had to do is you had to click. There's a uh, let's see how can I describe it. It's uh, a, a little symbol. At yeah, the it's like top a top left corner. Yeah, like a little and you circular click on button. It. And, and it's a drop down menu. Yeah, then, circular yeah. button, and it looks like the Office logo. It's in all the offices. Yeah. It's in the Microsoft, uh, the uh, Word, yeah. the uh, PowerPoint, Excel. Yeah. Well, um, the, yes. Yeah. The, yeah. One note and uh, yeah. So you click there, and then that you could save the file as whatever you want it to. What I do like about this one is that you could save it as an older file. Because like before, you'd save it as a file. You'd save the file, and then like it would say, oh well. You can't run Office. You can't run Office two thousand on a ninety-seven. Yeah, on and two thousand three or something. Yeah. yeah. So well, no, no, no. You can upgrade, but you can't downgrade. Yeah, no, yeah. and you couldn't. You yeah. Couldn't run so, so you couldn't run it. So that kind of pissed you off. But now, what you can do is you could say Save As, Save As Word ninety-seven, Save As Word two thousand, Save As Word XP or Save uh, Word. As the yeah. format. You can Save As the format of the year or whatever it came out as. So I like that a lot. That feature is good. Um, some of the new stuff that came out with the, uh, if you get the highest feature, if you get the uh, home and student, it comes, it comes with just Excel, yeah, Excel PowerPoint. Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, Word. which and, I don't like. But if you get the top edition, yeah, the, Enterprise uh, or Pro. Enterprise, Enterprise. Yeah. If you get the Enterprise edition, which I do enjoy, Enterprise comes with everything you're ever going to need, but it is also very expensive and meant only for businesses. It comes with Microsoft Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, um, Excel. One, one note. Yeah, one note. And then which Grove. We'll talk about. Grove. Yeah, Grove. Groove path or Groove path. Yeah. Groove path or something like that. But yeah, we'll talk about. Let's talk about One Note. One Note is a newer program, at least to me. I don't know. I don't think it came out on it, XP. No, it, it did. It didn't come out for the, the older one, the 2003. It didn't come out for those, but it did come out for, the, 2007. The okay. Office 2007. Yeah, I like that a it lot. Just came out because what you can what the uh, it's meant for people that can type really fast. So let's say you can type really fast, you're in college, and you, don't, and you don't have good handwriting, but you can type really fast. You could take your laptop out, use OneNote, use the program. And join and, it on like a network. Yeah, and yeah, you could, well, yeah. You join could, it or through the internet. Actually, that's not something I never thought of. Um, you could join it, you, uh, what Tom's talking about is you could join it through a network, which is true. So what you could do is in the future, the teachers, yeah. if you have an advanced class, uh, your teachers could always um, ha write notes down, and then it will automatically get sent to your desktop. Save the notes onto your computer as the teacher types them, so you don't have to take any notes. Yeah, and um, if you're doing a project and like a couple of people involved from different dorm rooms or whatever, it will actually send it to you straight. And you yeah, can it'll just, send it to you straight, you right from there, right the through the network. Change the notes if you want, and yeah. it'll send it'll it send to it them. To, you could use. Well, they ask you if you use it that you have to have a Hotmail account. But it doesn't matter if you have a Hotmail can, or a Gmail account. You can use a Gmail account. Yeah, you can use a Gmail account. As long as it's Hotmail. POP3, I believe yeah. it still works. Yeah. Um, it, but it basically just goes through the internet, so it doesn't really matter. As long as you've got internet, it's going to work. Um, but yeah, you have to send the invitation. So it is a bit of a pain once you get started, but once you get, once, once it, it works, started, yeah. it's Yeah, it's, it's good. So yeah, college, take notes on the computer. Also, you can do a recording. You could record notes from